Hey, just sitting here at the shiny and crisp manor, relaxing, exhausted, had a long day, and a thought crossed my mind. Hey, LaShawn. Hey, Chris. What are you doing? I'm working. What are you doing? Are you talking to our friends? <laughs> Hi, Instagram guys. Friends is a strong term. Hi. So How about we go on an impromptu date friends. night? Where are they? People. Do you want to go on an impromptu date night? So, you, it's just people that are just watching us? Yes. Are they not people? They are people. Okay. They're more than just people. They're friends. They're our internet friends. Okay, Creeper. Do you want to go on an impromptu date night or not? If not, I'm going to sleep. Where Where do you want to go? Uh, you get dressed, get in the car, and I will show you when we get there. What do I need to put on? Some jeans and a sweater. What do I wear for shoes? Flip-flops. How about you choose my outfit and then I go get dressed? How about now? I just told them I was tired and that sounds like too much. I'm tired too. All right. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll check in in a moment. Hey, guys. So, welcome back. I'm sure Chris did not do a intro, but as you heard from him... I guess we're going on a impromptu date night. We got home a few hours ago. I got home a few hours ago from work. Um, Cora had her dinner. We put her down to bed. I was working on some notes and he was chilling. Um, we haven't eaten, so we're, we need to eat. So we have a family friend that can watch our baby for us while we head out real fast for an impromptu date night. So... I guess I'm going to get up and get dressed and I guess I can take you guys along with me as I quickly throw some stuff on and I guess we'll see where we end up eating. All right, let's go. Food, 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 food. Okay, guys, so just took a quick shower and I'm dressed basically, but guess who still isn't dressed? Yeah, you guessed right, Christopher. Playing his video games, Call of Duty, or I don't even know what he plays. Some other game thing on his computer thing. That's what he's doing. So he got me up out of this couch, quickly took a shower, threw some clothes on, and he still hasn't even moved. Do we think we're actually, what time is it? I think it's like almost eight now. The question is, just some chapstick. Do I actually think we're gonna go somewhere and sit down and eat something right now? No, I don't. This impromptu date is turning into an impromptu drive-through date because I'm tired. A few moments later. I'm down here waiting and waiting. Let me tell you something. Chris, in our relationship, who y'all think takes the longest to get dressed? Chris will say hey, me, but the proof is in the pudding. Who is dressed and who isn't? Uh, it's Chris. Me, it's nothing. I just throw on a shirt, throw on some pants, make sure I got some chapstick on my lips, and I leave because that's just what I do. Meanwhile. Okay, so LaShawn agreed to go on an impromptu date. I am now going to get dressed probably just gonna throw on a shirt I'm already wearing some slacks um, I wanted to go to one of our favorite restaurants um, Finn and Feathers but um, we're both exhausted so we're probably going to look at maybe just doing a drive-in uh, where I have no idea maybe Waffle House checkers uh, we'll see but uh, keep you guys posted Okay, so I decided to go with the turtleneck, some nice skinny jeans, um, about to brush my teeth, put on some smell good, and go meet Michonne downstairs. So believe it or not, she's actually ready before me. For once, that is not the norm. Normally, I am waiting on her. So, it's nice to be waited on every blue moon. Listen, it 
it's been at least 10 minutes since we last spoke. And guess who still hasn't got in the car to eat? Me. Me. We're going to get him when he coming downstairs. Let's see what took him so long to get dressed. What the outfit is given. Much, much, much later. Psst. Hey, let me get your phone number. Nah, you good. I'm married. Let me, oh, good answer. Okay. Okay. This, it was worth the wait. How you told me to put on jeans and a sweatshirt and flip-flops and you come out looking like jeans. this? I got jeans and a shirt on myself. What do you mean? What? Same thing. I said I have jeans and a shirt on just like you, so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, y'all, comment below. Look what Chris got on. Chris told me to put on jeans, a sweatshirt, and some flip-flops. I told you it was date night. So. You said impromptu. I'm thinking we're going to a drive through or like something quick. Like a, come, show the people what I got on. Show them. Let's switch. All right, impromptu date night. See, guys, this is what he told me. She got the to grandma on. slides on. <laughs> He told me to put comment on. if you see your grandma wear these before. <laughs> you know you have. You told me we were. A, I thought it was a chill impromptu. Should I go change? No, this is a chill but outfit. Look what you got on. Look what I have on. I have a chill outfit on, Lashawn. We just chill different. Let's go. Okay, we're in these streets at our local Fin and Feathers. <laughs> I guess we're not doing a drive-through. This is one of um, our favorite little southern place to eat Chris forced me on this impromptu date. I had a, such a good time. Force? Hold on. Why do okay, you use that terminology? Not force, but I'm suggesting. It was a pleasure to go on the date with me. Thank you very much. We're dark. I'm sorry. It's nighttime. I'm not dark. Negro? I'm okay. butterscotch. Caramel. You wish you was this, this color as me, boo boo. Mm, I'm good. God made me perfect. You're right. You are perfect. You're perfect. Okay. So I'm really glad we went on this date night. Yeah. Because we were able to talk and like, I don't know, every time we go out together, when it's just us, we just get, we reconnect and we get like closer and like talk about more things and go deeper and deeper into stuff, our relationship and it keeps it fresh. Listen, men, don't stop dating your girl, whether in a committed relationship or a marriage. Keep it cute. Isn't keep it fresh. You can be not married and committed, I guess. I mean, but the moral of the story is keep it fresh, you know, because don't get too complacent, man. This is nice. Sorry about the video quality, guys. It's it's not great, but it is what it is. It's also pitch black outside. Yeah, it is, so. it's dark. It's now, what time is it? It is now 21.47. 47. That's our bedtime. We normally are in bed at 10 o'clock, the latest, getting oh, ready. down. Getting ready to go to sleep. So we are out here turning up on a school night. Yep. Change it up a little bit. You know, switch it up. We both are literally exhausted. We're so we have tired. no business being out here in these streets. But, like she said, it was definitely worth it. Um, we like to do heart to hearts. Somebody had asked us in our comments, how do we deal with conflict? Um, this is one of our methods. 
Yeah. Isolate ourselves from everyone around us. We go somewhere. The best way to get somebody to open up is by breaking bread with them. Whether that's a friendship, a relationship in a romance way, or even a business relationship. If you want to make a good deal or do some good work, make sure to break bread. That's a little pro tip for you. Pro tip. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was good to get out and like be intentional, of, intentional about spending time with each other. We had the opportunity to go, so we went. And I'm glad we did. Um, so, oh, should we get this? No, I'm full. I can't even eat dessert. I'm your dessert. You are my dessert. Um, okay, so we'll probably check in when we get back to the house to say goodnight. Maybe, maybe not. If we don't come back, thanks for watching. <laughs> We'll come back wow. and say goodnight to you guys. Um, but this was really Nine fun. Now, let's be safe just in case. Hey, good night. Like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. Uh, put some comments below. Let us know. We got to close out with something better. They can barely oh, see us. We got a questionnaire coming up. Um, we're going to do a Q&A. So please, 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 in this video, in the comments, ask questions that you want to know about us, mm -hmm. about our careers, whatever it is. If you need advice... Mm -hmm. Let us know. Yeah, and if you are, you don't want to ask the questions in the YouTube comments and you want it to be more anonymous or more personal, you can always DM us on our Instagram. Oh, that was a bump. You can always DM us on our Instagram at Shawnee and Chris on Instagram and send your questions there um, for our Q&A video and we can answer. It can be personal questions to live questions to just anything we're not gonna limit the questions um i mean we may not answer them if they're inappropriate but you're free to ask them so uh that is gonna be it um we'll probably come we'll come back on and say good night once we are home safe see you soon Bye.